Don't worry, boys and girls. It's Miss Volterek again. I'm back at it for some more fun. Today at school, we would have been learning about snakes. Ooh, slimy, slithery snakes. But you can try to make your own snake at home. So I have a little recipe. I'll send this to mom and dad. Maybe Gabby can zoom in on there a little bit. It's kind of handwritten. Um, but this is the recipe we follow to make our own fun Play-Doh, which can turn into snakes. Um, so basically, I'll say it out loud real quick. Two cups of flour, one cup salt, one teaspoon oil, one cup cold water, two to three drops of food coloring if you want, but Gabby used all mine, so guess what? No food coloring for me today. And mom and dad, if you make it, the dough's a little too wet and sticky, add more flour, not wet enough, add a little extra water. Um, okay, so let's get started. Uh, I am following the recipe today, Mrs. Flannery, but I guarantee it won't work and I'll have to add something else. So it'll all be good, it'll be fun. So first thing on my recipe, because I have my recipe here to follow, we need two cups flour. I measured it out already. Um, flour can be tough to measure. Boys and girls, make sure mom and dad help you if you do this because you'll have flour everywhere, just like the milkshake yesterday. We don't want it all over the place. So I put that in my bowl, if you can see. That's in there. Uh, it says one cup of salt. That is a lot of salt. So I'm going to use this big spoon, and I'm going to put, here is one cup all right, oh, some salt over. And two cups, so a lot of salt you need for this. If you don't have this at home to make, it's okay. You don't need to make it at home. Um, I just wanted to show you in case one day you would like to. All right, one teaspoon of oil. Uh, this is a big teaspoon, I didn't measure again. Oops, I just dumped a little in, so I would have it ready for the video, because if I pour that, I'll have it all over the place. So there's one teaspoon of oil, we'll put that there. And one cup of cold water I have here, I'm going to pour in my mixing bowl. This is the fun part. Now, if you have food color, you can add that now, but you might want to stir it a little bit before you mix it because it might get um, yucky on your hands. So I will go in here and let me show you as I'm mixing. Mix, 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 mix. You're going to mix this all up. Hopefully, ooh, ooh, that looks like fun. So you might have fun mixing this, but eventually when it mixes all together, it won't be that gooey. It won't get stuck to your hands like it is mine right now. So mix, 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 mix. Oh, it's starting to, starting to make good. I might have to use my other hand in there. Oh, look at this fun Play-Doh. Okay, so now it's making the Play-Doh. As you can see, it's coming off my hands very nicely. Mom and Dad, it won't normally stick to the table. It will just get a little bit greasy on there, um, but nothing you can't wipe up. So you might want to just, uh, you don't really have to have anything down. As you can see, it's really good. It's actually coming right off of this hand. Um, so this is a fun one to make. You could make it green, and since we are talking about snakes, take your Play-Doh and rub it in between your hands and you can make your own, or rub it on the table, you can make your own snake. Mine's sort of falling apart here. Um, I'm terrible. I'll take that piece off. That piece is not mixed full raw. But you can rub it, make a snake. Um, I challenge you, maybe once you get the good consistency, I'm trying to go fast. Once you get a good consistency for your snake, Maybe you can give it eyes or a tongue because snakes like to smell with their tongue and their tongue will come in and out. Do we smell with our tongue? Nope, we taste with our tongue. But snakes like to, oh see, look here, I'm making my snake. It's getting a little bit bigger. I don't know if we can see it on the table there. And you can make some eyes, you can do whatever you want. And then when you're done with this, you have all this other dough that you can play with, have fun with, make whatever you wanna make with it. Um, if you make anything, Please send me a picture. Tell mom and dad, take a picture and send it to me so I can see what you're making at home too. Um, or if you don't have these ingredients, you can use regular Play-Doh. All right, boys and girls, I will be talking to you in a little bit. I will um, hopefully see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.